Hello and welcome. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this review video. Uh, it will kind of be a review video. It's difficult to compare this pen knife to another pen knife. I don't have many uh, Wengers or Vengers uh, or anything like that. Um, so I'll kind of like do a review upon itself, go through all the features, things like that. Um, it's sat in here. This is my review of the Victorinox Swiss Champ. It's in a lovely, lovely leather case or sheath, uh, belt pouch. Um, it does have this uh, these slits here um, to attach onto a belt. And it is, wait for it, Velcro, but it's stitched in, or hook and loop if you want to call it hook and loop, um, with a nice uh, metal um, badge. And the stitching is very nice. It is leather. It smells of leather. It's it just it, one of these pouches. If you haven't got one for any of your pen knives, pick one up. Make sure it's made by Victorinox, I suppose. And um, they're not a very expensive either, um, but uh, they definitely will protect your your pen knife for even longer than the the lifetime warranty that they come with. Anyway, that's that's the sheath. It doesn't come with a sheath. You have to buy it separately. But uh, I definitely invest in in a sheath for your Victorinoxes. Um, Anyway, this is the pen knife itself. This is a Victorinox Swiss Champ. It's definitely one of the larger but more popular uh, pen knives in their series. I would go as far as to say uh, that their most popular would be uh, a Victorinox Huntsman or uh, or a Victorinox Classic. Uh, they those two, I think, are, are very very popular. Um, I haven't got the Huntsman right here with me, uh, but if you just give me a sec, I will just pop and get that. So the power of YouTube and uh, my powers of instant translocation managed to just whip and get this uh, back to you. This is the Victorinox Huntsman. The reason why I don't have it with my knives and things is because it's probably my mo it's my favourite, my most popular um, pen knife because it's got everything I need on it. Uh, but that's the Victorinox Huntsman. I've got a friend who carries, uses his Huntsman all the time. It's just one of the best, if not the best, Victorinoxes. But anyway, the review is on this bad boy, the uh, the Swiss Champ. I will go through all of the tools, okay? So grab yourself a cup of tea, coffee, can of beer, whatever, bottle of beer even, um, and uh, prepare yourself for, for, for all of these tools. I'm not going to go up and talk to you about the length and the width and, and the depth and you know things like that and um, it's a pen knife uh, and they're so popular I if you haven't got one already well I'm sure you one of your friends might have but uh, size wise um, it's well yeah size wise I, I will do a comparison with a with a with the Spyderco uh, UKPK just just for instance so it's pro it's probably just a bit smaller than the handle scale and um, for people that don't have a UK PK, if you've got a Spyderco Tenacious, uh, then then yeah, it's it's a fair bit smaller than a than a Tenacious. Um, width wise, it's a bit bit wider, I'd say. But uh, but anyway, that's that's that. It it's it's a typical um, Victorinox uh, shape and size, really. It's just a bit. Deeper, it's it's chunkier, it's heavier, it's got a lot more tools, um. But but anyway, uh, let's let's uh, go through this, okay? Now, the actual pen knife will will go through. Well, the weight of of this first of all is about one hundred and eighty five grams or six point five ounces. So it's it's a good it's a good weight, hence why I've got one of these pouches. Um, yeah, you can make your own, uh, no problem with that. If you've got the leather and you know how to stitch and and uh, do things like that, then go for it. Use it as a mini project, maybe. Um, probably be a heck of a lot cheaper. But uh, but anyway, in, in terms of this this pen knife, that's why I've got the the sheath. Six point five ounces. It's a fair chunk, but when this is attached to your belt. Or whatever, then it's um, it you don't really feel it as much. Put it that way. Then if you're wearing some tracky bottoms, <laughs> this will probably pull them down. Uh, anyway, we'll go through the, the the tools. All right, we'll start from this end and work back, and then we'll start from this end and, and work back. Uh, so first off, 
we have, just to mention, there are about uh, 33 um, tools on this pen knife. So it's, it is a jack of all trades in a way, but they're all machined very well, very good quality. Um, it, it goes through something like 200 something uh, steps to make sure all of these tools go on this. So yeah, they had their work cut out for them. So we'll start off here. We've got this uh, screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. Uh, it's it's also got a like a, a wire crimper, or uh, wire stripper. Um, it's also a you can you can put it in somewhere and and pry uh, pry tops off of uh, things. Um, and of course, it is a a bottle opener as well so that's that so already that's got many many functions and the opposite side uh, you've got the can opener um, and the small flathead screwdriver um, but you could use that for many other things grabbing things whatever I mean you know the, the possibilities are endless with all these tools because it's how you use them at the end of the day but the can opener is excellent. It's uh, probably one of the best can openers in the business. Don't believe me? Go and get a can in your drawer, what, whatever, if you're hungry, and uh, and and use it. Uh, it's I might do a video on that. I don't know, but uh, it's very very efficient and works surprisingly well. Okay, so that's that's the can opener and, and small screwdriver. And you've got this Phillips screwdriver, one of the best in the business. This. I've used this on the on uh, this uh, Swiss Champ so many times. Uh, if you can see, there's a bit of gnarling and things on it, but uh, it it will just eat eat the uh, job at ha hand. I mean, it you can get a a good tip is to get a a knife sharpening stone or rod, and you can put it in between there and file away to get that flat edge on it. But I've used another screwdriver from uh, I don't want to bash a company but I've used a screwdriver um, on one of Gerber's uh, multi-tools and literally a couple of turns in that half of it snapped off and I've never had any problems with uh, with Victorinox tools but uh, that's that's my bashing out the way but I can do that because I'm you know no, nobody gives me any uh, products or anything so I can I, I give you the truth rather than some you know, marketing wrapped in fluff and all that jargon. Um, but anyway, that's the Phillips head screwdriver. Excellent. You've got this, uh, they call it a, I'm just looking at my list here, they call it a magnifying lens. Magnifying glass, what's the difference? Is magnifying, I don't want to set myself on fire, but uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very, very decent. You can see my cells, I suppose. Maybe not cells, but definitely my fingerprint quickly screen print that and uh, you know put that on your plastic printer 3d plus printer but uh, but yeah that's the uh, magnifying lens very useful I have used it to um, try and make a, a fire and it's worked so um, a lot of people use it for the paper as well um, but but there we go these are monstrously good uh, these huge thick Beefy, beefy pliers. Okay, beefy pliers. Um, just looking at my li list here, we've got the pliers with the wire crimping tool and wire cutters in there. The wire cutters, just their luck. So that would cut. Then you've got the um, the actual pliers. You've got this this top bit, and then this this one that can grab onto nuts or whatever. Um, then you've got the the crimping tool there. I would think, just guessing at that one, but uh, it, that's what it kind of looks like it would be used for. Right next to the pliers, you have the um, pair of scissors. Um, very very decent scissors. These are large scissors with a good spring, and again you can sh they're they're very sharp. I've uh, wiped these down a few times, and I've actually cut cut a finger um, on them uh, more than the knives and things just because the scissors are so damn sharp but they're excellent excellent uh, scissors and you'll find these on all the 
this kind of size of uh, Victorinox pen knives. Okay, so that's the scissors. I just have to look over the camera for this because it's... Now this uh, interesting tool is, they call it a, a fish scaler and a hook disgorger. But then you've also got a ruler of uh, inches on one side and centimetres on the other. So again, that's pretty pretty useful, that. Pretty useful. But that's a fish uh, descaler. Not used an awful lot, but it's nice to have a, a measuring in instrument uh, at hand. And you've got this really nice saw. Really nice saw. Look at the teeth on that. The teeth are just vicious. Very effective design. Uh, you're only going to be sawing small you know, one inch or, or less thick uh, branches and things because uh, otherwise there would be clog up and it would, uh, would affect the speed and efficiency of the saw but uh, you know, at the end of the day it's, it's, it's a very nice saw, it's just that's just sharp me just touching it so it's uh, it's very efficient I've used it on many of my other pen knives um, right next to that you have this very interesting thing um, this is, uh, I think it's a wood file and a metal saw and then you've also got the the file on the other side as well and I suppose that point is quite quite useful for digging into things uh, what do they call it? they call it a yeah it's just a nail file, a nail cleaner and a metal file and the metal saw so I would think that this would be the nail file because it's a little bit finer um, And that would be the metal file and the metal saw nail cleaner that's what they call that anyway that's that one and then you've got the blades really nice well good quality uh, blades on here victorinox swiss made stainless very sharp although the, the i mean the steel on these um victorinox pen knives that it's quite soft but you can get this really really sharp really sharp and it's easy it's very easy to sharpen Okay, no problems there. So that's the big main blade. And the backup blade or smaller blade is here. This is uh, again, it's just like the larger one but smaller. Decent backup blade. If I was using uh, using any blade on this, I would use this one first. Um, just because it's smaller, you've got more control um, and you don't want to be blunting out your, your main blade too much. So that's all the tools on, on that side talk about the tools on this side I did say from from here so here we have this this tool now they actually call this um, a reamer comma punch now before everybody gets butt hurt and things uh, yeah you, you you know people may call oh no it's not a reamer it's an awl because it's got a hole in it or it's a sewing it's it that's called a sewing eye on on the reamer well yeah in a way it is um, it's up to you. You can call this an awl, a reamer. You can call it a, a sharp, pointy thing if you really want. It's it's, it's your English language. Um, but Victorinox on their website call it a, a reamer, and that's what I will continue forevermore to call it myself. Um, it's a very useful tool. Um, puncturing, uh, whatever you name it, making holes in belts, uh, stitching. I don't think you'd want to stitch yourself up with it, but uh, you can certainly stitch things together with it. Um, and it's got this uh, sharp, that's quite sharp, the the uh, edge on there as well. It's good for digging whole, uh, stones out of boots and whatever, you name it. Uh, pick pick your pick your poison. have got this interesting tool here, which is uh, actually uh, called a multi-purpose hook or parcel carrier now when I was a little lad I had a paper round because I've got a strong work ethic uh, I would have loved this I would have loved a pen knife um, to hook under the the plastic ribbons or the the ties of big um, packages of uh, newspapers and lift it with this rather than cut my my fingers and things but alas uh, hindsight is a, a wonderful thing but this is an excellent uh, tool 
nonetheless, for many things. I've used it for many things other than carrying parcels and things, all right, uh, because it's got the weight of the, the, the rest of the pen knife behind it, you can really use some force behind that um, hook. Okay, a um, couple more tools on this side. Not there though, they get harder and harder to pull out. Um, here, we've got another uh, kind of um, screwdriver, very similar to, to the others. Uh, again, it's, it's just a flathead kind of screwdriver really. Um, but that's, that's that one. Um, I wouldn't, I don't think you could use it to pry maybe, maybe you could. Uh, and then, before we talk about that one, we'll talk about this one. This here is a chisel. As you can see it's sharpened with a chisel grind and that could chip away whatever. And now, now we'll talk about this one. Um, this is obviously a bottle opener, a uh, wine bottle opener corkscrew um, tool, you can use it for other things though and we've got a mini flathead screwdriver which screws conveniently in, into the corkscrew and also a little hidden tool that's on a few Victorinoxes. A few Victorinoxes, uh, they're not cheap, I suppose they're just saving money or something but um, a few of them do actually have a little hole there behind this corkscrew anyway and you can buy replacement pins um, from many shops. Um, that's what I did with my. Uh, I think I did it with my Huntsman. Maybe I don't. It might not have come with the the little um, screwdriver, or it was probably it was probably the Swiss Champ. Originally it did, and maybe I lost it. Um, but yeah, that's good to know that you can buy replacement pins. It's just it's just a normal pin. Very useful though um, for many things. But you've got your pin, you've got your mini uh, flathead screwdriver, and that concludes those tools. You've got this split ring to put it on your keychain. Don't know why you'd want to put this huge thing on a keychain, or you can put a lanyard on it. I mean, you can put it that you know use it as that function. You've got the tweezers; they're okay tweezers. Um, find it easier looking over the camera than actually down it. Anyway, here's the toothpick. Standard Victorinox toothpick. And this this one here, a bit of a pain to get out, but is a pressurized ballpoint pen. Again, very useful, very handy to have that. So this pen knife, as you can see, has an awful lot of tools and things. I mean, if you could only take one thing out and about, um, you'd be prepared for quite a lot, wouldn't you? Let's face it, this gives you many, many options, many options uh, to deal with uh, problems. I mean, if you're out on the beach or out in the woods and there's something you want to pick it up, you're not sure what it is, you don't want to hang on your gloves and don't want to pick it up with your hands, bang, you just grab, grab that, there, you've, you've got that, you're not contaminated, what and what not, you've, you've got that tool. Uh, if you want to cut a uh, rope or branch or what not, You've got the saw, you've got the the blade for you know finer things, and you've got other tools that can be used for you know things that they're not really designed for in a way. It gives you many many options. One of these pen knives will set you back around forty two pounds, which I think is an absolute bargain, an absolute bargain when you consider that buying a, a UK legal. Uh, knife, just just a blade. God, that's a bit. No, it's not that blunt. Um, just a, just a UK legal blade or knife. Again, same price. Um, and that's just got one tool on it, really. Knives are tools. Um, it's just got the blade. Whereas on this, you've got obviously two blades and things like that. But it's horses for courses in a way because obviously this can outcut that. It's more comfortable over time. That's debatable. Um, it's a heck of a lot lighter. Um, but again, it will only ever really serve one one function to cut things. Uh, whereas this, if you had a, a multi-tool, um, you'd be prepared for, for many different tasks. But I guess you guys already knew that. Anyway, £42. Excellent, excellent uh, deal. 
um, value for one of these. Remember, you do get a, a lifetime warranty. Um, it's a kind of limited lifetime warranty in that if you chip the scales and you know really abuse the crap out of it, then uh, unfortunately that probably won't cover you. But uh, just for manufacturing and if there's any faults and things in it then they will replace it and their their customer service is excellent anyway i i think in another video i mentioned how this was all beat up and things and i managed to uh completely get the scales uh renewed and and cleaned up and things like that anyway it's coming to the end of the video uh you get one of these little uh user's guides with it which shows you all the little tools and things absolutely and usages absolutely brilliant so there you go anyway that was my review of the victorinox swiss champ an absolute legend of a pen knife and extremely good value for money uh, every kind of would-be survivalist or whatnot should definitely have one in my opinion uh you never know what you what you're going to meet out there anyway if you haven't if you have enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do comment rate and subscribe and uh Take care.